Good morning everyone. Once again I am here with you, Dr. Parvez Alam, to talk about different topics. Today's topic is very interesting because whenever we are writing, whenever we are expressing our ideas, that time we need different type of sentences. Sometimes we are talking in positive sentences. Sometimes you are talking, you are expressing our ideas in negative sentences. Sometimes interrogative and sometimes imperative and sometimes exclamatory sentences. To express our different types of feelings. To express our different types of ideas and thought in different circumstances, in different situations in different places uh, that be our different expressions, different thoughts, different ideas. So let us start today class. I hope my dear students you have completed all the videos that have sent previously. You have watched all the previous videos that I sent. If some videos, if some uh, videos are left, some worksheets were left. Please complete all those. That will help you for upcoming exam. Let us start today class. So my dear students, today's topic is types of sentences. There are many types of sentences uh, where we can use our thought, we can express our ideas. Let us start, let's see what is the first sentence. So first sentence is Declarative, declarative sentence. So what is declarative sentence? Declarative sentence gives us information. Gives us information. Ends with full stop. Ends with full stop. Means a declarative sentence gives us information and it, it ends with full stop. Some examples are there. He eats food. It is a declarative, but it is positive and declarative sentence. It, is, it expresses our ideas, but in positive. He doesn't eat food. This sentence is negative. Though it is declarative sentence, but it is negative sentence. Now, second type of sentence is here, interrogative sentence. Interrogative sentence is very easy. Means, Ask questions. Whenever you want to ask questions, you must frame your, uh, your answers, your ideas in interrogative sentence. Answer with question mark. But you must use at the end of the sentence as a question mark. Let's see some examples. Here, how did you lose your game? Question mark. How did you lose your Okay. Similar, the second sentence, yeah, this is a double interrogative sentence, right? And if you want to make a yes, no answer questions, that can simply you, you are not using WH question words. So only you are using here helping word and you are making your uh, interrogative sentence. Like, did you complete your task? Did you complete your task? Yes, like that you can make it. Okay? Now we are moving further. Next sentence, very interesting sentence is exclamatory sentence. What is exclamatory sentence? Exclamatory sentence expresses a strong emotion. Whenever you are going to express, whenever you are going to portray your strong emotion and feelings, that time you are going to use exclamatory sentences. For that, answer with exclamation mark. But whenever you are speaking, whenever you are you know, expressing your strong feeling, you must use exclamation marks. Now see, some sentences are there, some examples are there, like you know, oh, exclamatory sentence examples. What a loud voice you have. What a loud voice you have! Exclamation mark. Second example of uh, exclamation, exclamatory sentence is, you know, 
Oh no, you broke the new pot. Oh no, you broke the new pot. Here, not a, this is not question mark, it is wrong here. You must use here this, you know, exclamation marks. Oh no, you broke the new pot. Similarly, here, uh, in this, this class, the last sentence in the types of sentences is imperative sentence. Imperative sentence. Now, uh, my dear students, can you tell me what is imperative sentence? Very easy. Let's see it. Imperative sentence, it is used for commands, advice and request. Whenever you want to command, whenever you want to request, when you want to uh, uh, ad advise someone, that time you use this sentence, imperative sentence, right? And if sentence, this sentence will end with full stop. See here, some sentences here, uh, one sentence like, complete your homework. Generally, teachers say you, uh, complete your task, complete your homework before coming to school. So this is which kind of sentence? This is imperative sentence. Sometimes your father says, your mom says, pray to Lord. Pray to Lord to the best. Pray to the God for, give, for taking blessing, for the best work, for the future betterment. Right? That time you can use this type of sentences. Uh, many sentences are there, thousands and thousands sentences. Go from there, sit down, stand up, eat your food, pray to God, behave properly. All these sentences are called imperative sentences. So my dear students, I hope you understood all types of sentences today. You must watch this video and subscribe my channel also. Thank you so much.